Hey, hey, hey. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Maria? Fine, thank you. And you? Very good, very good. Ready for action like Jesse Jackson. Excellent. <laughs> I just finished another class right now. We're going to give a little moment to the other students. Okay, so in the, in yesterday's class, uh, we were finishing unit number three, and we started the midterm exam. ¿Quién no ha terminado el midterm exam? ¿Todos ya lo terminaron? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. ¿Todos ya lo hicieron? Yes. Ok, ok. En este caso... Vamos a avanzar a la 4. Si ya lo hicieron, vamos a avanzar a la 4. Section 4. All right. Section 4.0. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary. We're talking about things people hate to do. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán vocabulario para hablar sobre las cosas que las personas odian hacer. Top 8 things people hate to do. Talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. 1. Stand in line. 2. Do laundry. 3. Travel to work. 4. Go to meetings. 5. Exercise. 6. Work in the yard. 7. Clean the house. 8. Open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so in this activity, you are going to write in the discussion forum. You're going to write it here in the discussion forum. You're going to write five sentences. Five sentences similar activity share your work to these sentences cinco oraciones similares a estas expresando cinco actividades que odia hacer y lo va a escribir acá si ya lo hizo puede continuar en la próxima actividad si no lo ha hecho tiene cinco minutos para trabajarlo en pareja ¿De cuál es? Eh, 4.1. 4.1. Okay, yes. 4.1. Ready in pairs.
Hey, hey. Hola, hello. Are you finished? Yes. ¿Por dónde va? Escribiendo las oraciones que nos dijo de I have. Ok, ¿puede trabajar en conjunto con Roxana? ¿Pueden trabajar juntas para comparar las mismas oraciones? Sí, pero no, no, no podíamos hablar, no sé. Ah, no, no está Roxana ahí. Mm. Sí, sí. Pichando. Roxana, ¿estás ahí? Sí, ahí. Sí, escuchando, sí, escuchando la, la lección del video. Ah, ok, ok. Trabajen juntos. Y para mí no está planchando tampoco. Podemos poner esa también. Sí. Entonces, ¿cómo lo llamamos? Sería, I have. I have. Claudio sería. I have. Y yards. No tengo que trabajar en el patio. Eh, tengo todo encementado, no me toca trabajar. Um, uh -huh. I have to do open the mail every day. I have it. Eh, tengo que abrir el correo todos los días. I hate. Disculpe. Uh, wake, wake up early every day. I hate to wake up early. I hate to. I hate okay. to wake up early. I hate. I hate uh, to work. <laughs> Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, I hate to work uh, on weekends. Ah, uh, me too. Okay. Uh, okay. Entonces no faltaba el tú en todas. Correct. Uh -huh. I hate to clean every clean day. House every day. To clean house every I day. To laundry. Do the laundry. Do the, I have to do the laundry. To do I hate the laundry. To do the laundry every day. I hate to study on weekends. You don't want to work, to work, you don't want to study. Yes. <laughs> We need to rest. Yeah. In peace, teacher. <laughs> or rest in bed. <laughs> yeah. No me abre. No me abre la plataforma. Okay, okay, okay. 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 I can write. Okay, I have to do a lot. A lot of exercise. Like it's verdad. Y no me gusta hacer esto. Yeah, and I don't like it. Oh, lo siento, ya escribí mal, don't. Don't. Solo la apóstrofe, ¿sí? Sí, sí, sí. Solo es. Ok. Sorry. Ok. Este. Pero, este, aquí eh, también pueden usar, o sea, él dijo hacer ejemplos similares a los que están en el ejercicio, en, la, en el video, uh -huh. pero podemos ocupar otras cosas. Uh -huh. Podría ser... Podría ser. She has to do and work in the jar. She 
She has to work in the yard. She has to see it. Okay. Y el complemento podría ser. Este. Come on, come on, you can do it. Y a ella no le gusta, y ella odia eso. Y ella, ajá, a ella no le gusta, creo, ¿verdad? Podría ser. Ok. She ella had tiene... it. Ajá, vaya, cuando sea ella lo odia, sí sería she hated it. Y cuando sea ella no le gusta, she doesn't like it. She doesn't. Mm -hmm. Correct. <laughs> I have, I have one. Let me see. I'm gonna type. I hate when my PC stop stop working. Hello, Marta. How are you? La voy a poner con Reina y Roxana. Thank you, mister. Okay, vámonos. Hola. Hola. Perdón, tuve problemas para ingresar temprano. No sé qué están haciendo. ¿Me podrían decir, por favor? Eh, estamos en la sección 4.1. Eh, están haciendo uh -huh. oraciones. Eh, las oraciones eh, son ah, okay. acerca de... Bueno, ya lo vamos a ver ahorita. Ok. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, what's up? Uh, I hate to stand in line at the bank. At the bank. the bank. And the bank, okay. Oh, you could say, I hate to stand in line at the bank. And at the bank, okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. All right, are you finished? Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's go ahead and look at the next activity. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán y a formular oraciones positivas y negativas en pasado simple usando verbos regulares. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en el escenario de la vida real. Simple past statements with regular verbs. Listen Please, tome apuntes en su libreta. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. 
do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W a t c h e d. Exercise. Exercised. E x e r c i s e d. Study. Studied. S t u d i e d. Stay. Stayed. S t a y e d. Shop. Shopped. S h o p p e d. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right-hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements 
in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and co-workers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right. For this activity, I would like for us to practice the conversation. You'll practice the conversation, practice which the conversation. How this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listen and repeat. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good have weekend? A good weekend? Do you have good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Well, I had a busy weekend, weekend and I didn't tired. Really? Why? Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned. Did the laundry. Did laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? So what did I do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? Oh no, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. I just watched television all weekend. So this is going to be your practice in pairs. Practice the conversation in pairs. Any questions? Any questions? No. Teacher, no. solo no. practicar el diálogo. That is correct. Speaking, pronunciation. Thank you. Thank yes. You. Yes. Let's go. Hi. 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 Okay. Inicia usted o inicio yo. Somos tres. Sí, la tengo. Ustedes la tienen. Sí, la tengo. Sí, yo ahorita, ahorita. Ok. Lo hacemos rotativo, primero dos, luego, luego ahí nos vamos rotando. Así es. Está bien. Si gustan, comiencen ustedes y yo después me uno. ¿Sale? Ok. Yes. Ok. Si gustan, inicio entonces. ¿Me parece? Sí, está bien. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. I busy. 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 Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired, a little tired today. Tired. Tired today. Tired. 
Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned the laundry and chopped And then I visited my parents. Visited. Uh, and and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied uh, for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I did not study, I just watched it, watch it. Study or studied? Study. No, studied. 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 Mm -hmm. I just watched, watched, sería solamente así, ¿verdad? Watched, uh -huh. Television all weekend. Ok. Ok. Eh, ¿Quién va conmigo? Mm, María Rodas. Sí. ¿Vamos juntas entonces, Marcos? Ok. Inicio yo. Hi sí. Jennifer, did you, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I, exer I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and a cleaner did laundry and chopped and did, uh, visit, uh, visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do, do we have a test today? I didn't ask, I didn't study I just watch it television all weekend. Okay. Hoy voy con María José. I said. Uh -huh. Vaya comienza María José. Okay. Hi Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Busy busy. busy. No, busy, como bicicleta, busy. busy. Okay, busy weekend. And I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise yeah. in the morning. Then my room is, and I clean the laundry and chapel and then, uh, and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I stood for test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I did not study, I just watch television all weekend. Okay. Está bien? Hi Jennifer, do you have a good weekend? Well, I had a bus I had a busy weekend. And I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my room, roommate and I clean it, the laundry and shop. And then I visited my parents. So what, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't start. All right, vamos a cambiar parejas. Vamos a seguir practicando, pero vamos a cambiar parejas. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right, ready? Let's go.
Teacher, a nosotros no nos puso en grupo. Teacher, teacher. Eh, sí, Rudy, tú se supone que estás con Roxana y Nelson. Te voy a mandar la solicitud nuevamente. Ok. ¿Te cayó? Me he quedado solo yo. Hola. ¿Me escucha? Sí, sí. Ok. Ok, démosle. Practiquemos. Pues. Eh, yo seré... I am Michael. Ok. Hi, Jennifer. Do you have a good weekend? Well, I had a music weekend. And in, in the street, I learned title today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and the I cleaning, dig laundry and shopping. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I stood for the text all day. Oh no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watching television all weekend. Okay. Okay, ahora ahora uh -huh. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a, a good weekend? Well, I had a bad weekend. I am feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, day my room, I clean it, the laundry, and shot, and they are busy, my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watch the television all weekend. Okay. Ahora otra vez. Hi Jennifer, do you have a good weekend? Well, I have a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I exercise in the morning, then my roommate and my cleaner did laundry and shopping, and then I visit my parents. So what do you do on Sunday? I study for the text of day. Oh no. Do we have test today? I didn't study. I just watch it television all weekend. But dame a chance. Okay. 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 Este, entonces, sí, Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend on a feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. They
All right, let me go ahead and have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers. I am teacher. Okay, Maritza and Maria. Okay. okay. Hi, Jennifer. Do you have a good winky? Weekend. Uh, fin de semana. Weekend. 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 Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I exercise in the morning, take my roommate and I clean the laundry and shop and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? Sunday. 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 I study for the for the test all day. Oh no, the well have a test today. I did not study. I study. just watch television. Sta study. Sta I study. did not study. I use. I use watch television. I want to all weekend. Weekend. All Thank right. You. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Now, Maria, select somebody. Maritza, select somebody. Thank you, teacher. Select somebody. No sé si está por ahí Cantarena, de apellida. Okay. Um, ¿Quién? Moren, ¿cómo es? Solo la pedida me acuerdo, teacher. Permítame, voy a volver a ver, permítame. ¿Por qué no me...? Eh, uh, vamos a poner a Reina Costa. All right, Reina Costa. Thank you. Uh, María José, teacher. And María José. Action. Okay. I, I am Michael. Go ahead. Está bien? Yes. Okay. Hi Jennifer. Do you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I exercise in the morning, then my roommate and I clean it, the laundry and shopping. And then I visited my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. All right, applause for the participants. Good pronunciation. Thank okay, you. now select somebody, please. Uh, Marco. Marco. Antonio Landaverde. Yes. Okay. Uh, Marta Luz. Marta Luz. Action. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I clean it did laundry and chop it and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, 
do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Study or study? Sta. Sta. Sorry, study. Study. Sta. I didn't study. Thank you, Marco Antonio. Thank you, Marta. Uh, that's it? Did you finish the dialogue? I think you didn't finish. I think yes. Uh, no, because it says, I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Teacher. Okay. Yeah. Como es? Basi. Basi se dice. No, B. B. Como bicicleta. B. C. B. C. B. C. Uh -huh. B. C. B. C. Ah, okay. Como, como la bici. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So, aquí van a escribir. Cinco oraciones utilizando eh, estos verbos que están acá. Watch, exercise, study, stay, shop. En el simple pasado, por lo menos cinco. One, two, three, four, five. Son cinco. Y va a escribir las cinco oraciones aquí en el discussion forum. Lo vamos a hacer en parejas. Cada quien lo tiene que hacer en su plataforma. You have five minutes. Sí, sí. Bye. Ahora entonces hay que ver lo que, los, las palabras que, que debíamos eh, utilizar. Vamos a ver. En el video estaban, dice. Sí. Al final. Gracias. Gracias. Okay. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Eran los ejemplos que estaban, que por ejemplo decía, I watch it, I watch it television. Yes, similar a ellos. Ok. Vamos a ver. Eh... Creo que habría otro video. <ríe> no me carga esto. Si no, inician ustedes. Ok. Ok. Eh, no sé si estaría bien. Bueno, hice una. I didn't watch television the present day. Eh, no sé. I didn't watch television. Okay. I didn't watch television. Eh, también había hecho I studied on Friday. 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 Sí, está bien. Mm -hmm. Pero está en presente. No, I siempre studied. estoy en pasado. I studied. Ah, I studied. Sí, está bien. Friday. 
está, es como el ejemplo que, que está ahí, ¿verdad? Sí. Um, Hay uno que dice ahí está de activo y en pasado negativo. Sí. Uh -huh. um, sí, bueno, por ejemplo, uh, dice I watched um, my favorite program. I watch, I watch it, my favorite program. Program. Mm -hmm. Mi programa favorito. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Waldir, no sé si tiene una. Eh, no sé si está bien. Eh, hice una... My mother did cut on Friday. No sé si está bien. Friday. My, ¿qué dice? My mother. My mother, my my mother? mother did cut on Friday. On Friday. Eh, como mm. mi mamá no cocinó el viernes. No cocina, o no le gusta cocinar el viernes, ajá. No sé si está informulada. Cook on Friday. Oh, oh, Friday. Uh, Friday. Ajá, bien. No sé si está bien. Yo creo Ajá. que sí, ¿verdad? My mother. No cocina, didn't. Didn't cook. No did. cocina. Ajá. Ajá. Did, sí, did cook on Friday. Uh -huh. Didn't cook. Didn't cook on Friday. On Friday. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Sí, está bien. Um, we studied in the night. We studied in the night. Estará bien. Sí, verdad. We, we studied. Como nosotros estudiamos. In the night. In the night. Ajá, en la noche. Ahí se diría at night. At, at night. night. At night. At night. Uh, we, we started at night. At night. Ah, ok. Thank you, mister. At night. Eh, había hecho otra, no sé si está bueno. Ajá. They did exercise on day. No. Eh, exercise, exercise on day. Sí. ¿Qué era lo que estaba antes? They think. Ellos. They didn't. They didn't. Ajá, ellos no. Es una uh -huh. negativo. Sí. Uh -huh. Sí, está bien. They didn't wash um, television. Nos hace falta con el verbo stay. Oh, y stay. el de shop. Y stay, no sé qué significa stay. Como estar o permaneció. Estar. Uh, creo que es. Ah, no sé. Sí. Ajá. Mm, bueno, hagamos uno de ese. Mm. Sí. No, de they didn't watch a television all day. Ok, vamos a ver. Es Teyas, dijo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. He stayed.
in the church? He stay he stay in the church. Creo que sí. se dice iglesia. <laughs> he stay in the church. Church church. <laughs> Church, 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 church. He stayed in the church. Esa permaneció en la iglesia. That's right. Okay. Ser está. ¿Qué significa está? No sé, no me recuerdo. ¿Cómo? Está. Es está. Lo voy a buscar. Este es permanecer. Permanecer. Está. Está como en un lugar. Ajá, estar en un lugar, pero está. Permanecer en un lugar. Una oración que podamos hacer con ella podría ser, ah, pero ya es negativa, tenemos que hacerlo, o la hacemos positiva. Fíjese que yo he hecho una con nosotros. We shopping on weekend. Nosotros eh, fuimos de compra el fin de semana, de compra el fin de semana. We shopping, ajá. On, on weekend. On weekend. Sí, ¿verdad? Va, está bien, entonces. Sí. La repasamos si quiere. No las he escrito todavía. No, no, sí, estoy... ¿verdad? Ah, pero sí, sí, ah, termine ahí. Como hay que enviarlas. Sí. Ah, ahorita las estoy escribiendo. Help me. Hey, help me. Can you help me? Yes, yes, yes. The question, the question, teacher. A state and pasado sería a stayer. Stay. 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 Es que Rudy se le escucha como que si fuera R, por eso era que yo no entendía. Pero es stayer. Stayer. No, pero stay. No, es teacher. Uh, stay, stay, stay. Ah, ok. No, es como que digamos stay, el que esté en presente. Ajá. Stay. stay. Porque presente no, es stay. Presente, stay, pasado, Ajá. stayed. Ah, stayed. Stay. Stay. Suena como con D, ¿verdad? D. Ah, no, Correcto. Yo no la al final. Yeah. No yeah. Stay. Mm -hmm. That's right. Lo All right, guys, that's it. We're going to stop right here. Pueden continuar eh, desarrollando las actividades y los vemos nuevamente el lunes. Bye bye. Good night. Teacher, teacher. Good night. Good night. Teacher, good night. Este, ¿Por qué sección tenemos que ir para la otra semana? Eh, por lo menos la sección 4.
Cuatro, ok. Teacher, la cuestión. Ya. Yeah. Puedo decir, I did on homework o I did the homework. I did my homework. No, I did my homework. I okay. did my homework. I did my homework. Okay. That's right. Thank you. Good night. I see you tomorrow. All right. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye bye.